This is a piece of music that dates back to the Tang Dynasty in the 8th century. It was thought for a long time that no works of ancient Chinese music had survived to the present day. But thanks to China's ethnic minorities, these treasures of antiquity have been preserved. This ancient system of pictographs is still in use. It's the best preserved pictographic language system in the world, and it documents the history and culture of this particular ethnic group. The community that lives around this azure highland lake is characterized by its matriarchal family structure. It is, in fact, one of the last living matriarchal societies in the world. Over a thousand years ago, the Na Shi people settled in this place, at the foot of this snowy mountain. The old town of Lijiang is situated in southwest China's Yunnan province, where the Hangduan Mountains meet the central Yunnan Plateau. This mountain is called Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. Its peaks are snow-covered all year round. Its highest peak towers 5,600 meters above sea level. It's the lowest perennially snow-capped peak in the northern hemisphere. Around the 3rd century AD, the Qiang people came here fleeing war on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. They were attracted to this place by the abundance of water. They settled here by this azure lake at the foot of Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. Over hundreds of years, diverse ethnic groups in this region merged to form a new ethnic group, the Nashi. Melted snow from Jade Dragon Mountain flows down to Lijiang. On its north side, the water gathers to form a lake of 40,000 square meters before flowing into the town. 
This perpetual source of water is crystal clear. The melted snow trickles into numerous brooks that gurgle through the lanes of the town. Bridges built of wood and stone connect its myriad of streets. Using a crisscross irrigation method which follows the natural terrain, this is the oldest example of an urban water supply system in the world. In this unique environment, each household has access to fresh spring water and is shaded by trees and lush vegetation. Using an ancient design, the water is used to turn the town's millstones, which grind grain, to make flour. Each water channel has its own wells for public use. This one is divided into three pools. It's called the Three-Eyed Well. The water flows from the highest pool down into the second and then the third. The water in the top pool is reserved for drinking. The water in the second is used for cleaning food. The bottom pool is used for washing clothes. The women come here every day after 9 a.m. to do their laundry, but even though there's an abundance of water here, the Nashi people are very economical in their use of it. This is because the Nashi people consider water to be a gift of nature, and so, in accordance with their religion and the teachings of their ancestral spiritual master Dingba Shu Luo, water is believed to be the brother of mankind. The White Water Terrace is an area where spring water flows over a center terrace, leaving behind travertine. The water changes color with the light, producing an ethereal effect. The Nashi people believe that it was here in this area that their ancestors founded the Nashi culture. Nashi people have their own religious belief system called the Dungba religion. According to this religion, Shu, the god of nature, was the brother of mankind. In the beginning, man and nature lived in harmony, but later man became consumed by greed. This angered the god of nature, and so the two brothers became enemies. However, their spiritual master intervened and he created three rules for man to follow. By following these rules, an harmonious relationship was once more established. The Nashi people believed that everything under the sun had a living spirit. Rivers, forests, mountains, birds, mammals, fish, insects and even the air were man's brothers. <laughs> The 
Li Jiang nestles among the mountains in an area that covers just 3.8 square kilometers. Its wooden houses vary in height, creating a picturesque landscape. The streets and lanes of the town wind and zigzag during the Ming and Qing dynasties incorporating traditional Han features. The central room in the main part of the building is the living room, often featuring a six-panel door, elaborately carved and adorned with auspicious patterns. Each house is exquisitely designed with comfort in mind. These houses preserve the original architectural techniques used in the central plains in the 10th century. To the town's northwest lies the magical Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. This exquisitely built ancient town was designed to be at peace with and at one with nature. In the Nashi language, Dungba means wise men. The Dungba priests preside over worshipping ceremonies. They are the custodians of Nashi culture. The five gods of heaven are depicted on their ceremonial headdress and the copper bell they hold in their hands represent the sun while the drum represents the moon. It takes a long period of learning to be initiated into the Dungba priesthood. The first thing that is learnt is the written language. Dungba script is an ancient writing system with 1,600 pictographic symbols. The Nashi people originally created these pictographic words for the recitation of ritual texts. In the Nashi language, the script itself is referred to literally as wood and stone records, testifying that Dungba was originally carved on stone and wood. In the Dungba religion, wood and stone hold a special significance. Wood represents the female, while stone represents the male. The Nashi people believe that creation springs from these two. The Dungba language is possibly the only ancient system of pictographs still in use today. Over 30,000 sutras are written in this language. Together, they make up an encyclopedia. The culture of the Nashi people plays a magnificent part in the world's history of civilizations. This memorial arch was bestowed by a Ming emperor on the leader of the Nashi people after he avowed his loyalty to the Ming government. A grand complex based on the design of the Forbidden City was then built in Lijiang. This painting is of that legendary Nashi tribal leader. In the year 1368, he and his tribe pledged allegiance to the Ming ruler and then fought alongside Ming troops in Yunnan. 
Zhu Yuanzhang, the founding emperor of the Ming Dynasty, gave him the name Mu to signify his status as hereditary chieftain of Lijiang. The Mu family ruled the vast lands of northwest Yunnan. In the 14th century, the Nashi people prospered. The Nashi people prospered because Lijiang was a trade and transportation hub for the areas of Yunnan, Sichuan and Tibet and the Nashi people were naturally talented merchants. The Nashi shipped tea by horse from Sichuan and Yunnan to Tibet and even beyond to India and Nepal. They brought back leather and medicine to sell in the central plains. As a result, the local economy experienced a golden age. The Nashi people had played a dominant role in the culture and commerce of Western Yunnan for a very long time, creating considerable wealth for the region. Often referred to as a huge inkstone, Lijiang is situated in the middle of a geographic basin that resembles a traditional inkstone. The Nashi people are characterized by their respect for nature, their diligence, and their ability to create wealth. Lijiang is rich in non-ferrous metal reserves, among which is copper. Copper is melted at a temperature of 1,080 degrees centigrade in a process that lasts one to two hours before the metal can be wrought into items for daily use. The first copper items to be made by the Nashi people were horseshoes and pots for storing water. These finely wrought copper products became popular throughout Yunnan, Guizhou and Tibet. Traditionally, Nashi women wear a piece of animal hide on their backs. The animal hide bears intricately designed patterns of the sun, moon and seven stars, symbolizing the people's admiration of diligence and their hard work. Lace making is another tradition among Nashi women. Like the weaving machines used by other Chinese ethnic groups, early machines used by the Nashi also involved a system of shuttles operated by hand. A machine like this can make woven material from 10 yarns of different colors. These machines can make scarves and laces for quilts and coats. Older generations preferred smaller, simpler machines and used mainly black and white yarns.
Wrought silver is also a traditional craft here. The silver is cut into different sizes. There are over a hundred patterns in use and the engraving demands a high level of workmanship. With an average depth of 40 metres, Lugul Lake lies 2,685 metres above sea level and spans an area of 50 square kilometres. In winter, it's an oasis for migrating birds. Fish from the lake are a major feature of the local dishes. The water in this highland lake is among the purest and cleanest in the world. According to legend, when the ancestors of the Nashi people migrated from the north, they settled here. They were known as the Morswar people. Communities of Morswar still exist today, and they are matriarchal in character. Because a Morswar family has no husband or father, rearing the children is the responsibility of the mother and uncles on her side. In this matriarchal society, brothers, sisters and sisters' children live together throughout their lives bound by their mother's bloodline. In the evening, a male may visit a female's home, stay for the night, and leave at dawn. The lovers call each other Asia. This practice is called a walking marriage. While the pairing may be long-term, the man never lives with the woman's family or vice versa. More so, men and women continue to live with and be responsible to their respective families. Walking marriages are not formed on the basis of wealth or social status. They're based purely on love, and the relationship may last for days, months, or years. Some last a lifetime. With a population of about 30,000, the Morswar culture is primarily agrarian. They have no written language, and their history is passed down by oral tradition from generation to generation. The Morswar worship the Lion Mountain, which is believed to be the incarnation of a goddess in charge of agriculture. The Morsaw people have no tradition of accumulation or inheritance of individual property. Everything owned is gained through the combined hard work of the family, and it belongs to the family as a whole. This particular type of matriarchal society is the only one of its kind in the world.
The unique social structure of the Warsaw has been passed down from time immemorial. Another legacy of antiquity is the unique music of the Central Plains. Ancient music such as this has long ceased to be practiced in the Central Plains, but here the musical traditions of antiquity have been kept alive, including the original musical instruments such as these local gongs and these stringed instruments. These types of musical instruments disappeared from the Central Plains long ago. Most people in this orchestra are over 70 years of age. When a musician dies, his or her photo is added to the stage as a reminder that their spirit lives on through the music. Solemn and full of abrupt changes, Naoshi ancient music is a living fossil of the music of ancient China. Music scholars have described it as one of the world's most sublime music forms. According to local legend, two brothers used to live in this place. They fought bravely to protect the community from a plague of evil spirits, and after their death, they were transformed into this mountain to become the guardians of the Nashi people. This snowy mountain is the cradle of the Nashi culture, and it's also its emblem. This sacred mountain protects the people from the cold wind currents to the north. Man and nature are brothers. This simple wisdom is an everlasting truth. Man depends on nature for life. Everything in nature, the soil, the air, mountains, rivers, everything has its own intrinsic dignity. Man must learn how to live in harmony with nature. This is the key to self-respect and happiness. Lijiang is home to 300,000 Nashi people, and it's a living, vibrant relic of one of the world's most fascinating ancient civilizations. The old town of Lijiang is a living fossil of ancient civilization. <laughs>